Uh, so my parents were both born in Mexico, in Durango, Durango, and uh, they fell in love in high school, married, and they both actually didn't graduate high school, but they always put my education first. And so when I was 10 years old, they decided that I should move to the United States. And I went to elementary school here, high school here, and I ended up studying computer science while I was in college. Yeah, my mother lives in McAllen, Texas. She has always been there for me, always supported me, always encouraged me. She's my number one cheerleader. I really would have loved to have found out about this career earlier. I think I found out about it a little late. You know, I'm still an early bloomer, but I think that it says something that nobody told me until I was 19. That nobody looked at me and was like, you could be a computer scientist. Hola, chicos. I decided to major in computer science because I like too many things. I like art, I like education, I like medicine. And there's always going to be technology needed for any of the passions that I had. I can go work in technology, uh, building an app for education, building an app to translate, building an app to do many things. If in three years after that I want to work in medicine, I can go build an app for medicine. So the reason really was because I liked too many things and I didn't want to decide. And computer science gave me the freedom to, you know, do and learn about a lot of things. So there's this argument that uh, the best mathematicians, the best scientists have all been artists. And this is true, and this is a myth that doesn't go around. People just think that, you know, the science people belong over here and the artsy people belong over here, but actually, they both complement each other. And being into art, thinking about things creatively like an artist can help you be a great programmer. Just, you don't have to be a studious uh, bookworm, you know, locked in your room all night. You can really, really, really come at this career with any kind of background. So this is my family, who surprised me graduation day. You know, they were the biggest support and the biggest cheerleaders throughout all of the university, so this was a really special moment for me. They came with a sign that said, proud of Nat, because they call me Nat. Um, and they kind of stood up and had flowers, and it was really wonderful. I work at Indicative. We are a small startup, but we do data algorithms, and we do data analysis for companies. I'm a woman in technology, but I also know that I bring different things to the table. I bring a different perspective. I have ways of looking at things that others don't in the team. And I think any individual with that mentality would definitely get far in this industry. We're very outnumbered. There's not a lot of women in particular who are specialized in computer science. There's not a lot of people studying it. There's not a lot of people who know about it, period. There's not a lot of people who consider it as their career. And so, you know, we mirror kind of the trend of the general industry. But luckily, that'll get better. I want to be a computer scientist when I grow up. I want to be a data visualization uh, kind of hub of knowledge. I want to have my own ideas, my own visualizations, my own school of thought. I actually want to build a, my own library, mimicking d3.js, which is a library to make data visualizations. I want to code it up myself and make it open source and have everyone download the code and contribute to it. The first time I heard about technology was actually really funny. I heard that a brush was technology, a, br a hairbrush. And that was because it was making our life better, and it was an innovation, a tool that humans invented to make it better. And so, you know, that kind of really attracted me. I was like, how can this brush with technology? I think of technology as like a phone or like a computer, something that, you know, plugs into the wall and needs electricity. Sometimes it's crazy to think of where I came from and what it's allowing me to do to be in this career, you know? Like, I'm sitting here with this Buddha in the city, but um, it wasn't the case when I was growing up. It was not the case at all. It's not where you come from, it's where you're going uh, with your passion, with your interest that really matters. And um, you belong. You belong. You like, you think differently, you especially belong. Uh, you can make it work and it's gonna be a hell of a ride. I am Latina and I love technology.